Okay, let me go ahead and start this one. That's one bright TV there. Okay, we're watching Cincinnati and the Cubs play. Friday afternoon, September 5th, 2011. September. Excuse me, August. Woo, pushing it. August the 5th, 2011. Uh, the Cubs are up by four, and it's three, four to three, so, I mean, they're up by one. Scores four to three. They're top of the night. Looks like the Cubs are going to win this. Day. If, if, if what, baby? If they don't screw up. If they don't screw up. All right. We'll be back. Anyway, the reason I brought that up is because I'm making hot dogs. It's a ball game. you got to have a hot dog. Anyway, I was wanting a hot dog anyway. I don't eat them often, but I do love them. But anyway, what I'm doing, doing going to do tonight, today, this evening, cooking homemade hot dog chili sauce. It's, 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 it's to die for. Anyway. Uh, I'm going to get everything prepped up here, chopped up, and I'll be back. Okay, what I got here is about a half a pound of ground beef. That's regular ground beef, you know, but anyway, I'm going to cook the fat out of it and drain it. And we'll, we'll get it up brown here real good. Cook it kind of slow. You don't have to cook it real fast. I got the ketchup, which is about a half a cup. I just went ahead and put a you know a couple teaspoons of mustard on top. This is all going to go together. I got a I don't know, half a cup, three quarter cups of onion, which is about a half an onion. Homemade chili powder. I'm scrunching the nap because I don't have fresh garlic, so I'm going to use garlic powder. That's all I got. I ain't going back to the store. Now here is the chipotle. This is about I don't know three quarters of a chipotle. Anyway, this stuff here. Well, it'll, it'll set you on fire. The best thing you can do is, is if, you're lunch, if you like it hot, fine, you just eat it that way. But see, I got that stain down there. I cut the seeds out of them, and I chop it up real fine. This is about maybe a half of a chuck potato, which was about two inches long. I chop it up real good. It's still spicy. Half pound of ground beef, it ain't all that bad. Anyway, we're going to mix all this together. I'm going to cook this beef and drain it. And we're going to put all this in. I got some water I got to put in there too, but that comes that comes toward the final process. Anyway, uh, we'll be back. Okay, I I drained the meat, you know, got rid of the oil. Now I'm gonna it's back down to low, took medium low on the heat. So another touch of olive oil. Then I'm gonna add these onions. Now at this point, excuse me. At this point, you would be getting this onions just till it was, they were, you just starting to smell them. At that point, you would throw the garlic in. Well, I messed up because I don't have no garlic, except I got garlic powder. So I'll put the garlic powder in when I put in the uh, chili powder. So anyway, I'm going to let these saute here a little bit. So I'm going to add uh, the ketchup, the mustard, and I got about a third of a cup of water I'm going to put in here. And then we'll, we'll be back as soon as this gets going here. We'll be back. Okay, and I've added everything in there. I added the ketchup, the chipotle, the onions, the beef back in. Actually, I put, I, I had to put, I put another third cup of water. So I put two thirds cups of water. So, but it doesn't matter. I mean, I'm just gonna let it simmer. You get it as thick as you want. You can get it. You can get this down to concrete if you want. But I'm gonna reduce it by. But I'm gonna reduce this water out of it. It's it's thin right now. I don't I don't like it that thin. Some of the hot dog places around here they they have it that thin. But but all you gotta do is just let it let it let it cook down to the consistency that you want. And I'm telling you folks, <laughs> mm. this is good. Oh yeah, and I did add salt and black pepper to it too. This is delicious. I mean, it's easy to make. I've been working on it. I don't know, 20 minutes at the most. Well, yeah, 20 because I prepped it and everything. And anyway, you'll see the video. I had the time up. Anyway, uh, I'll post the recipe up there on the blogger. So this is it. Chili sauce. It's, it, it's, go to a ballpark and, and, and get a hot dog. Then make this stuff and come back and you'll be thinking about the ballpark. Anyway, oh, Cuds won. They did, 4-3. All right. Y'all have a good weekend. Talk to you later. Bye. Okay. I'm adding an addendum here. You know, I do a lot of addendums. Uh, this stuff here will be... You you cook it down to the right consistency, it, it'll lay on top of a hamburger with bacon, 
lettuce, tomato, cheese, and 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 you got yourself a chili bacon cheeseburger too. I'm telling you, this stuff is delicious. Cook it, do it. I, I you can probably just make it as a dip too. Put it on soda crackers or chips or something. All right, this is it. We'll be back later on. Bye.